emergence of American virtual cloud technologies in Trackstar helps illustrate the difference between speculating in meme stocks such as AMC and Bed Bath & Beyond and an unknown penny stock. AVCT likely surged in Trackstar because it was featured on a website touting a $7 price target backed by literally nothing outside of a speculative and suggestive press relief the company put out three weeks prior that suggested the company may be up for sale. This could come to fruition, but would rely on a large slice of luck. And that's because an investment in a stock, particularly one that trades for pennies and gets pumped on the back of press releases, tends to only have a flimsy bull narrative associated with it. That doesn't mean you shouldn't take a chance on something like this once in a while. It just means you should be prepared to lose your investment. But it's worth considering, why are today's meme stocks so different? Well, when you go into AMC or Bed Bath & Beyond as a trader, hopefully you have a technical plan based on volatility, reliable signals, and the sense you've developed via talent, skill, years of experience, and a little bit of luck. From an investment perspective, it's easy to create viable narratives around these stocks, not stories you use to try to convince yourself, but actual narratives based on how you've seen things go down before, like a retail turnaround. For example, through the early 2000s, Domino's Pizza traded in the single digits and teens. Despite that stagnation, the stock has returned 2,380% over its lifespan and 74% over the last five years. Domino's was left for dead, then it made fun of itself for its cardboard-like pizza in a series of ads where it promised to do better. Domino's did better and created a solid digital and mobile strategy in the process. Before you knew it, the stock was off to the races. If you bought the Domino's turnaround narrative, then you made money. The difference is that if you invest in AVCT today, you're guessing speculatively. Sometimes you just want to throw caution to the wind and take a flyer. A long shot for a potential multi-bagger. That's a high risk, high reward. The bottom line is this. Let's face it, speculation is fun, and from time to time can make you some money, maybe even a lot of money. The key is not to get too carried away. Don't get too confident when you win or too down when you lose. And most of all, allocate a small segment of your portfolio for risky speculation, keeping the rest of your money in assets that have, and we can reasonably believe will, continue to stand the test of time.